Hello everybody, today we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I am bringing you a guide for the European Rabbit burrow locations because this is something that you guys have requested quite a bit. I've done an absolute ton of research and searching the map and uh, trying to figure out where all of these burrows are and I think I've come up with around 20 and I will have a map for all of those up on screen right now if you guys are interested in checking that out it will be in the discord a uh, link to that is down in the description below real quickly i did want to say that i got a few of these locations from zaggy dk's map so if you guys are not familiar with him consider go checking his channel out he's an og in the community and has done an absolute ton of call of the wild content always has fantastic guides so if you guys don't already watch him consider go checking him out but with that being said, I think what we're going to do today is it would be impossible to show off all the locations in game considering there is 20. The video would be insanely long and we don't necessarily want it to run super long. So we're just going to do a run and take out as many rabbits as we can and then I'll just show you guys what I end up getting on this run. So stay tuned for that and let's get to the first location. Now I do real quickly want to say that not everybody's map is going to have all of those zones because everybody's map is different in Call of the Wild. So there's a good chance that you guys might be missing a few of those or even half of them, but it should give you pretty good chances of finding quite a few rabbits. Uh, as you can see, the first one that we went to is currently not being used by the rabbits, which means we probably just came here at the wrong time. They do have three separate times that they can come out of their burrows, uh, five to nine being the first one, then 12 to 16 and 18 to 22 is the last one. So if you aren't getting rabbits to pop out at one of those times, try doing another one. I have noticed that some burrows tend to only have rabbits coming out at one of the three times, which is interesting. I'm not sure if it's intended or if that's just how it is, but definitely want to keep that in mind. If you guys aren't seeing rabbits come out of your burrows, uh, you could try changing the time to different uh, time period. Another thing that I've noticed is sometimes if your tent is too close, they don't actually come out of their burrow. And same with tripods, I've noticed occasionally it prevents them from coming out. So those are two things that could potentially cause them to not spawn, but obviously both of those are pretty easily fixable. But anyway, we're at the first location right now, which is this one near Rothenfelt. Unfortunately, there's nothing here at the moment, so we are going to just move on. Another thing I real quickly wanted to point out is that there are occasions where the burrows for some reason just don't show up and it's kind of strange but I've had it happen quite a bit. They do come back eventually. I just went to this location right here and there was absolutely no burrows but this has been one of my best locations throughout the last couple days. So it's one of those things where you just need to wait and eventually they will come back. I don't know what causes the burrows to disappear or if it's actually intended or not, but they do sometimes disappear and eventually they do come back. So if you don't have burrows at a zone, uh, consider checking it at a different time and you might have them show up. Same with this location right here. I usually have burrows here. Once we know more about what causes that, I'll be able to give some more info on it. But as of now, it just seems to be something that happens. Not really sure why, but hopefully we will know in the near future. So we actually do have some rabbits at this location, and as of recording this, they are still bugged. Uh, as most of you probably know that have played the game since the patch dropped, the rabbits are currently bugged and they don't move. But they are working on a fix for that. There's going to be a hot fix out uh, early next week, most likely. So hopefully they can get that out as soon as possible and fix the rabbits because right now it's pretty easy to just go up and smoke them all because they don't move but anyway let's take out these males I believe that was the other male let's see yep it was go ahead and grab these two so we got a two scoring one and a 1.70 and right here's another two males a 1.80 and another 1.80 and we got a couple more burrows we can check there's one right here that one's just a female and then we got a female and another female so I think we're gonna go ahead and leave the rest of these I'm not really too interested in killing the females anymore I've already killed one of every rare so now I'm mainly just looking for large diamonds of the different fur variations but Hopefully eventually we can find one of every fur variation. But anyway, that zone was right here on the map as you can see. This has been one of my most consistent ones recently. So that's one I would definitely recommend checking out. 
As you guys can see, this is kind of what I'm talking about. This is the first location we went to, and for some reason the burrows are just gone now. So this does happen from time to time, and like I was saying, I'm not really sure what causes it. But they do seem to eventually come back, so that's the good news. But I wish I really knew what is happening here so I could let you guys know, but they just seem to randomly disappear. I'm assuming it has to do with the time of day, but I mean, either way, you just gotta wait for them to come back, and until then, just gotta hunt other spots. Okay, so that's actually a pretty cool looking fallow deer. I think we're gonna take that out while we're here. Just get that guy down. It's a really cool looking level four. Very cool looking. And here it is. Let's go ahead and get a look at this guy real quick. Yeah, it's a really cool looking level four. I don't think I've ever seen one that is that wide and slicked back. That's actually really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and tax that actually because I've never seen a fallow deer that looks like this and I really like the way that looks. So that's kind of cool. Nice little bonus. All right, well, here is some more little European rabbits. So let's go ahead and take some of these guys out. I want to make sure we get males only. I'm seeing a lot of females, sadly. There's a few males right there. We'll definitely take those out. And looks like that might be the only ones for now, but... It's something, at least I'm actually not sure how the first shot missed, but I mean, it is what it is, not much we can do about that. Let's go ahead and get a look at these ones. That is a male and another male. We'll take those two out also. There we have it, a 1.90 on that one right there. And then let's see if there's anything good in these. We got a two right there. Uh, this one's only a 1.80 and a 1.50. So nothing too crazy out of that little group of rabbits. Now I'm pretty sure we got all the males. Don't think there's any more. Yeah, it's looking like we got all of the males. So we'll go ahead and move on. This location is right here below the tower. There's also burrows here and up by this watchtower, but right now I didn't have any there, unfortunately. I'm still waiting for my respawns, so wasn't able to show off any rabbits there. And there we have some more I actually got a couple decent males there too, but uh, this location is right here below this hill. I do have a tent up here so I can kind of just look down at them. There's also some decent zones for other things around here too. As you can see, we got a fallow deer resting and a roe deer feeding, so definitely a good spot to come. And you can see the rabbits up from the top of the hill. I don't actually know if they are supposed to spawn from far away, but I've noticed that I only see the rabbits come out when I get relatively close to them. So. I don't know if that's supposed to be the case, but currently that's how it is. Could just be uh, partially to do with the fact that they're bugged, but let's go ahead and take these three out and check out what they score. We got a 1.60, 1.80, and a 210. That's actually, I think, one of the best ones we've killed so far, so that's kind of nice. Right here we actually have quite a few of them, and... That is a male, a female, male, female, male, and female. That's actually a good male right there, so for sure going to take that out. And that one is my favorite fur variation, so we'll take that out as well. Let's go ahead and get a look. That one is a two exactly. This one right here is a bronze light gray. And the last one is somewhere under the burrow, but it is a silver light gray. Yeah, it looks like the rest of these are just females, so we'll go ahead and move on to another location, but this is definitely one of the better ones that I've found. There's a pretty good amount of rabbits and a good amount of burrows here. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is some burrow locations have five burrows, others have six. I don't know if they can have more or less than that, but that's what I've seen so far. Some have five, some have six. It doesn't really seem to influence the amount of rabbits too much. I've haven't really seen any consistencies with a uh, number of rabbits, but I have noticed that there's two different burrow counts at each location. So I went ahead and reset the time and came back to this spot and we finally have our burrows back and they've got some rabbits at them, so I guess we got our respawns. But this is actually this location right here that we showed off towards the beginning of the video where I was talking about you can kind of see the rabbits from up top there and get a good view of them. We finally got some here, so let's look for the males and try to take them out. So it looks like we only have four males, which is a little unfortunate, but we'll get those down real quick. 
and see if any of these guys score decent at all. Uh, this one's a 2. Not too, too bad. And that is a 1.40. That's actually a really small male. And right here we got a 170. Along with a 1.80. Another thing I forgot to mention is if you still don't have all of the guns unlocked, now would be the time to level up your handgun score, shotgun score, or your bow score, depending on which ones you need. Because these guys, since they're bugged at the moment, don't move at all, which will make easy targets to level up your different weapons. So it looks like we have three males here. We got that one, and I did not mean to pick that up yet, but we got that one, and I believe this one right here, which that's actually the biggest one, 1.80 and 210. So that's actually the biggest one we've killed so far, 2.18 kgs. That's not too bad of a rabbit. Get that little guy right there, 1.60 on him. Got a couple more burrows here to check. And that's actually a pretty good male right there too. 1.80. And that does appear to be it for the males. Uh, this is actually a pretty easily accessible location right here that most of you have probably hunted if you do like hunting for these little guys. And that is right next to the starter lodge. It's actually like I was saying, probably the most accessible spot on the entire map. Because when you first spawn into the game, you spawn in around here, you run up to this tower, then go to this lodge, and these bunnies are right next to it. And I actually forgot to remove my stand from this location last time I was here, but this is another location with a good amount of rabbits at it. And that location is right here, also super, super close to the starter lodge. Which, I'm really happy that they have a lot of locations that are right next to the starting lodge. You have this one, the one that we were just at, along with this one here, and this one here. So that's four locations relatively close to the start, which is going to be awesome for newer players. So it does look like we have four males, so we will go ahead and take out all of those. So those two there. I don't remember where the last one is. Oh, right there actually. So let's go ahead and grab those. And this one is two exactly, the light gray variation, which is my favorite of the more common furs. Absolutely love the way the light gray looks. This last one is a 160, and I believe that was all of them. And as you can see, this location actually only has uh, five burrows. I was about to say four, but then I, I saw the last one, so uh, <laughs> scratch that. It's only females though, unfortunately, so does us no good. But honestly, I would say that with the European rabbits, killing females is something that actually does benefit you because of the fact of them being able to spawn in rares, obviously. And with the European rabbits, you don't have to worry about deleting zones, so you can just kill everything that's there and not have to worry about losing your zones. And that'll really help if you're trying to get a rare and don't really care if it's a male or a female. I'm just shooting the males right now because I've already killed some rare females and I mainly want to get some big uh, male rares, so that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, speaking of rares, I believe that is a melanistic female, so we'll go ahead and take that out. That's probably from the last little run that I did through here where I was just killing whatever. So that's kind of cool. We got ourselves a melanistic for the video. Now, the melanistics are a little bit more common than they should be right now, which I hope they change it eventually, but Melanistics seem to be popping up everywhere when it comes to what's being posted in the Discord and what I've been finding in multiplayer. I've been finding quite a few of these guys. I think this is number six or number seven. I will be putting out a video that is a, a compilation of all the good rabbit kills we've got on the live streams during the past couple days. We've had some pretty insane kills and I can't wait to show you guys that, but until then, let's go ahead and take that out. And that is a Melanistic Rabbit. 1.70 female. It's actually a pretty good sized female to be honest. Not too bad at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is another melanistic. And that one's actually a pretty good sized one too. Well, that is awesome. But like I was saying, as you guys can see, they're not nearly as rare as they should be for sure. But definitely cool to be able to see some of these guys up close. That is the one positive thing about them being bugged on release is we get some awesome screenshots. Uh, let's actually take this guy out with the bow. There we go. 
Grab that little guy, and it's a 1.90 gold melanistic. This is the first gold melanistic I've killed, so that right there is one of the things we've been looking for. Now we just need to find a gold rated leucistic, and we will have all the rares as a gold. This is actually a decent male too, so grab that little guy, 1.90 gold scoring. And these last two are also males, so take those out as well. 1.90 and 1.70. And I think this will be the last little set of burrows that we'll head to. This is one of the first ones that we went to towards the beginning of this video. And it looks like these are what we got for respawn. So let's go ahead and take that little guy out. That's actually a pretty good sized male. And it's a 2.28. I believe that is the biggest one that we've got from today. So that's definitely cool. So that is another two estimate male. And then we got another male right here. So we'll go ahead and grab the biggest one first. And it's another 2.30 kgs. That's another big one. Biggest of the day. We just keep getting bigger and bigger on these guys. Hopefully eventually that'll lead to us getting a diamond, but unfortunately, since this is the last place I'm going to go to for this video, I doubt that'll happen. And that is a male right there. A light gray 1.40 male. Alright, so this right here is the last male. Unfortunately, nothing special about that one. It is just a common 1.60 trophy rating. But overall, I'd say that was a successful little run of rabbits we got a decent amount of them down and got to show you guys some of the better zones and before we end I do real quickly want to show the location we were just at where we got the two melanistics it's right here above this lake near the starter lodge so like I was saying before this area is fantastic as you guys can see four locations of burrows so close to the starting lodge but before we end this guide I real quickly want to show a clip from the other night where uh, unfortunately, there was no commentary over it because I recorded this very, very late, but I did end up getting a diamond rabbit and it was the fur variation that I've really been wanting, so I had to include it in a video somehow, so let's go ahead and show that now. And here is those two little melanistics that we got during this video. This guy actually was really close to two scoring. He was 1.98, which is easily the biggest melanistic I've killed so far. So that was pretty cool. I'm glad we were able to get a couple of them for the video, which I kind of figured we would. They're not all that rare. If you're grinding respawns on them, there's a pretty high chance you'll get at least one or two melanistics. Which, as I was saying earlier, I don't feel like it should be like that. I think they should be a little bit more rare, but at least it's cool that we get to look at them and hopefully since they are somewhat common, we'll be able to get a diamond one eventually. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of the diamond light gray. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. That is one that I have wanted for ever since they released them and I saw that there was a light gray variation. I really, really wanted one and we finally got it. And here that little guy is. Super, super cool trophy. Now, we got quite a few other rabbits to show in probably tomorrow or the day after's video that I think you guys will be very, very happy to see. We finally accomplished something that I wasn't sure we were going to anytime soon, but it finally happened and I cannot wait to show you guys that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button because it does help push my videos out to other potential new viewers, which is a huge help when it comes to growing the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button because I do post daily Call of the Wild content along with some The Hunter Classic and other classic games like the Cabela's series. 
I also do five live streams a week. The only days I don't stream are Sunday and Monday. That schedule is subject to change, but as of now, that's what I have going. And we always start at around 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are interested in any of that and you don't want to miss out on it, consider hitting that sub button. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.